Over than 5,000 years ago, the ancient Egyptians came up with their own calendar and months and it holds a lot of similarities to the way we perceive a typical year these days. The ancient Egyptian calendar was originally based on 12 lunar months, grouped into three seasons of four months each to coincide with the rise and fall of the river in Egypt. The beginning of the year, also called the opening of the year, was determined by the appearance of the star Sirius, in the constellation of Canis Major, which occurred around June the 21st. However, because the rising of Sirius is a stellar event, which means it occurs every 365 a quarter days, the rising of the star did not precisely match the calendar, which was based on the lunar cycle and so had an average of 354 days, 11 days less than a solar year. This meant that the rising of the star would very quickly be out of sync with the calendar. To correct this, the Egyptians introduced an extra month to create a great year of 384 days every two or three years. However, because this calendar was either not accurate enough, too complicated, or unsuitable for economic and administrative purposes, a standard calendar was introduced, in the Old Kingdom to run alongside the lunar calendar. This calendar, which probably resulted from counting the number of days between successive risings of Sirius. The ancient Egyptian calendar is the oldest calendar in recorded history and its months and season attributed different gods and goddesses they worshipped. Thoth is derived from the name of knowledge god, inventor of writing. Fafi is the name of god of agriculture as the earth is overwhelmed with greenery during that month. It's followed by Athi derived from the name of love and beauty god. Kiak which is dedicate, to honoring the god Abbeys. As seasons change, approaches Tybi which is another form of the god Ammon, the god of Thebes. Nka comes with storms as it's accurately dedicated to the god of storms Mento. Famanoth is derived from the god of heat and Pharmati is derived from the god of cold, wind and sometimes death. Parkin honors the moon and its god Kisno, while Epipe could refer to Happy the god of the Nil River, to end the year with Mizor, in reference to the god of the sun. However, because this calendar 